G'day, this is Cyanide. So I said I'd um, video some of the uh, painting of Fat Betty, so we'll give this a crack. What I got here is a uh, Tamiya paint, uh, Olive Drab T70. So I got a couple of cans of that, and I've got another can of uh, Olive Drab TS5, which is darker. Uh, what I usually do is use this old turntable here. <coughs> Excuse the uh, voice. Um, this allows me to turn what I'm painting without touching it, so it's quite handy. Um, the cap's too big to go on there, so um, I'm going to raise it up on this little piece of plastic here and stick the cap on top of that, and that'll allow me to spray paint it. So um, yeah, I'll set this up, set the camera up, and we'll get to it. Now I'm not doing a uh, tutorial on how to paint or nothing like that. There's plenty of that online. Shake your can obviously. Um, take your time for many light coats. With this uh, build I'm purposely not prepping anything because I want the rust to come through so um, it's quick and dirty basically. See how we go. trying to do is spray paint it light and um, allow some of the uh, rusty patina to, to, to show through so that um, it's, it's, I don't want it to look like it's just come out of the factory you know it's supposed to look like an old truck that's had a good long hard life so I'm just basically covering up um, all the motley metals and bits of plastic and you know, trying to make it a bit more uniform in colour. <coughs> Usually i would be wearing a face mask, but I've got an open door right behind me here, so there's heaps of ventilation. So, um, yeah. I'm going to go for a few cans of these. I wouldn't usually go for Tamiya paint because the cans are so bloody small and really expensive but and so they've got the good colours for military themed stuff, you know, for the modelers, so that's why I'm using Tamiya at the moment. For my other builds I wouldn't spray paint with Tamiya. I'm too cheap. Most of the roof uh, unpainted, so the so it looks like the roof is rusted out. Just going to go around the edges a wee bit there and leave the roof pretty much as is. I'll do the same thing with the bonnet. Um, trying to get some OD inside the cab here is proving to be a bit tricky. Side when I was trying to get a hit inside the body, uh, inside the cab here, doing a bit of a run, so I'll have to knock that back with some sandpaper. It's a bit of a shit, but oh well, it happens.
bit of rust coming through here where I've got a real light rust coming through on the, um, the guards here. Plenty of rust on the roof. Um, bit of rust coming through the back here. So the paint's nice and light, you know. So you can see, uh, you can see some of the rust come through on the back here still because I've done it fairly light and um, you'll see the same on the roof there. I've left some of that rust there. Um, mainly where I painted it was this silver stuff here around this um, air intake where it had a white plastic and a copper pipe and um, also these white bits of metal here from a computer and that was the same down here uh, they were the same metal and it's uh, quite rust resistant it wasn't going to rust the other thing I wanted to make sure I got was the, um, the silver mesh on these steps here but you can st still see the rust and the sheet metal below it so um, the cap's probably done I'll, I'll do another wee lick over the, from the underside to get the bits I've missed that I want to get but I'm not going to go any further than that you know I'm not going to get fancy pants, it's rough. So, um, next up is I'll, um, I'll let this sit and I'll get the other parts like the doors, the bonnet, the sides, uh, give them a lick of paint <coughs> and then uh, hit the chassis and the uh, axles etc. Okay, so got the bonnet on the old turntable so I can give that a spray up. And um, again, this is going to be real light spray. I'm going to leave probably a good patch here unpainted uh, so the rusty patina can come through I'll just do around the edges and that real light coat then I'll um, do the side panels and the doors etc drop them on here and um, give them a bit of a blast I'll see if I can set up the camera for this lot but um, might not be able to Going real light over the top and then I'll go a wee bit more on the sides here. Get those springs and um, stuff like that. It's not too shitty actually. I really want the rust to pop out through this so I don't want to go crazy on the uh, bonnet at all. Right, so what I'll do next is um, put these doors on. Hopefully I can fit the side panels on at the same time so the bleeding spray paint can do the um, other parts. <coughs> Yeah. Trying to not to pay. 
paint the um, <coughs> side panels too much. So I won't do rusty patina to shine them as well. This light's a bit deceptive though, eh? Like a DJ's scratching her up. Chicky, 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 chicky. Yeah. Well, I think that's going to do for now. I can always put more on, you know. It's going to be a shit to take it off, so I'll leave that, let this crack dry, and um, I might be able to get some of the chassis done with this tin before I run out, so I'll just keep on trucking. No pun intended. Two canes, that's done the uh, cab and the um, body, whatnot. I'll uh, get another couple of cans next week and um, hit the chassis and um, <coughs> the other running gear, the axles and the dry shafts to be continued. That's the inside of the bonnet, it's got a it's not too bad, I haven't gone too fancy pants. And the inside the doors and the side panels. Oh, yeah. Okay. Looking alright. Right on man. To be continued. Catch us next time.